Car and Driver Magazine, March 1965. The Pontiac 2 Plus 2 against the Ferrari 2 Plus 2. And they got Chevy's new 396 425 giant porcupine horsepower National Safety Council. We're going to flip it open and see what's inside. Win some, lose some. We have to go on record, say the Corvair is the best vehicle, double the church, da 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 And then here on the negative side, we personally, dot, 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 feel that the hood looks a trifle short. Some fellow on the CorvairCenter.com website said that the Ferrari 250 GT stole the back window. Actually, Larry Shinoda, a wonderful GM stylist, designed a lot of the Coke bottle shapes and uh, the Ford Boss 302 Mustang amenities. Anyways, he also designed the Corvair. So one of the guys mentioned this article from Car and Driver, March 1965, and I happen to have one magazine sitting on top of my 63 Monza four-speed convertible. There, there it is. Whoa, it's got junk. Got a blazer, diesel, plow truck. Got some junk around here. Four-speed GTO console from a 65. Some quadra junks. Paxton supercharger for a Corvair. AM FM radio for a late model Corvair. And uh, <laughs> console for a Corvair. Chrome windshield wipers. 140 clone style heads on a PG 110. Anyways, I've also got this <laughs> one article, one magazine article sitting on top of the 65 Corvair. So there it is. I mean, 63 Corvair regarding the 65 Corvair. Blah, blah, blah. Gotta drive this thing one day.